Okay, fine, I'll read some of your screenplays. Ever since I started this channel, people now and then come to me and ask, Do you read scripts? Will you give me notes on my script? And I've always declined saying, Sorry, I'm not doing that right now, except as a favor to people I know. Because honestly, it's not fun. But after finishing work on the second edition of Screenwriting Down in the Atoms, available now from online retailers, see the link in the description below to order your own autographed copy. I've got some free time on my hands, so, you know, why not? So if you've got a script you'd like me to take a look at, stay tuned. If this doesn't apply to you, feel free to click on one of my other videos over here. Hey, how about the one on how I'd fix Suicide Squad? I mean, Unalive Squad. Because that one's criminally underviewed. But if you are interested in getting my advice, there are three things you gotta know. First of all, I can't do this for free. I put about four hours of work into every script I read, and I'd like to be compensated at least as much as I get for delivering four hours of Amazon packages, because sometimes it's just as grueling. But I'm gonna severely undervalue myself and charge much less than I would professionally. I'm not going to state how much here because I'm not sure about YouTube's rules about such things, but you can click on the link in the description if you want to find out. Now the reason I'm undercutting myself is that it pisses me off how people are always trying to rip off beginning screenwriters. I mean, 449! Kiss my ass! You know, when I first graduated film school, I was working for this one online feedback service that was only paying me $25 per script, which was way below minimum wage. Then, I found out they were charging the writers $250. So I was doing 90% of the work and only getting 10% of the pay. They were ripping people off both ways. Now granted, there are some popular services with reasonable rates. But when you consider how much of your money is going to the website, to the people who run the website, to advertising, and to whoever owns the thing, think of how much money actually goes to the reader. And then consider how much of a crap you'd give if you were forced to read scripts all day for minimum wage. A lot of them just try to skim through your script as quickly as possible. Second, there are two rules I've established to help minimize the pain for both of us. First, I would prefer no first-time screenplays. I know that's going to exclude a lot of people, but you should really consider your first attempt at screenwriting to be a purely personal learning experience. Unless you're already an experienced writer in some other field, your first script is just you trying to figure out what the heck you're doing and how the heck to do it. I mean, my first screenplay was 160 pages of garbage that I now wouldn't want anyone to read. Really, it's best to finish your first script reflect on what you've learned from the experience, and then set it aside and start your next one. Because I guarantee you that second script will be way better than the first one. Really, if you're gonna spend money at this point, it's better to invest in your own self-education. Because when I do give notes on first-time screenplays, it's often just me explaining very basic principles of movie storytelling. And in that case, the best thing I can tell you is usually just read my book because it explains things far better than I can in a few notes. In fact, one of the reasons I originally wrote Screenwriting Down the Atoms was so that I no longer needed to keep explaining the same things again and again. I could just say, read chapter four, and it would save both of us a lot of trouble. Second, and I'm gonna be far more firm in this request, please, please, no first drafts. You should never show a first draft to anyone. A first draft is just a vomit draft because the goal is to vomit all your ideas onto the page so you can finally start to work with them. Please, I don't want to see anyone's vomit. And what is this I'm standing in? It's a uh, bath, sir. If you're giving your script to anyone to read, you owe it to both yourself and your reader to take the time to do all you can to improve it yourself beforehand. And quite often, a first draft's flaws are so obvious, you don't need me to point them out. I'll only be telling you things that you can probably figure out for yourself. Look! The boff! It's right by your feet! You're just standing next to it! Part of becoming a writer is developing your own critical skills. And that's not gonna happen if you're always deferring to the opinion of others. Gotta know that! Most of what we do here is cleaning up boss. But some of you might say, well, what if I just want the first draft read to see if the story works on a basic level? Ugh. That is not the stage in which you should be doing that. You should have done that before writing anything at the outline stage. 
if you don't work your story structure out beforehand and just try to figure out things as you go, you're gonna have a bad time. And likely what you hear from me is that you gotta tear it all down and start over again from scratch. So to help you avoid such mistakes, I'm also giving an option if you just want to send me your outline. So you can tell if every bone is in its right place before you start writing. Now some of you might now ask, okay, how do I write an outline? Which is an excellent topic for my next video. So let's just put a pin in that for now and we'll come back to that later. And the third thing you gotta know, I'm a real hard ass. I'm a critical SOB who's really hard to impress. Now I wouldn't have learned so much about ScreenCraft as a reader if this wasn't the case. Now of course I'll try to be nice and supportive, but you gotta be ready to get that band-aid ripped off. Now a lot of feedback services blow smoke up your backside. They sugarcoat things and they try to coddle you. Why? Because they're out to make money and they're afraid they're not gonna get any return business if the feedback's too critical. I'd actually work for one service that would edit my notes if they were too negative. Like if I rated a script's dialogue as a 2 out of 10, they'd change it to a 5, which I see as totally dishonest and of no help to the writer. But my feedback won't be so harsh if you avoid the mistake of sending me a first draft, which is another reason I tell you not to do that. Now if all that hasn't scared you away, there's a link in the description below to where you can sign up and send me your screenplay or outline. There's also a link to where you can order your own exclusive autographed copy of Screenwriting Down the Adam's Second Edition, which makes a great stocking stuffer, if you happen to have very large stockings. Thank you again for liking and supporting this channel. I love all my script monklings. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below because again, algorithm likey. You'll see me again next time. Keep scribbling.